Hello. Hi, I don't know where I'm from. Hello. Right, so I've got coursework to do tonight. Husband probably thinks I'm talking to him, but I'm not. Right, I've got about half hour. Kids are finally in bed. I need to de stress for five minutes <laughs> before the kids. Uh, my kids today have been grounded and have been in bed the majority of the day because they've been very, very naughty. So before I start doing my coursework, I wanted to play with my tarot card. As you do. Right. Um, Right, if you would like your toe red, then oh, I'm wrong way then. Let's go on here. Right, if you'd like your toe red, then just put in the comments on either, depend on how you're looking at it, on the screen. Uh, just type in. Let me say. Oh dear. Um, yeah. Excuse, I've got a twin today. Uh, called Frederick, he's, you know, he's on it. <laughs> right, um, if you can put a comment in the, what are they called, what's this thing called? No, nope, other way, it's that side. What's that called? What called? That, that little bit there. Why is it called where you put messages in? In the messenger, is it messenger? Chat. In the chat, yeah, right, um, it's been a very, very, very long, long day, and uh, some lovely children. Yes, who's we've had the whole talk of. We've got nothing to say. Oh yes, please. Um, yeah. If you haven't got anything nice to say, then don't say anything at all. We've had that conversation today. We've also had. Don't pull your sister's hair. Don't push your sister. Don't do this. Don't do that. Why are you being so rude? We've had we've had this conversation with my kids today. It, it, it's been great fun. <laughs> um, right. So if you want your tarot read, um, and to make sure that I know, I've got someone in mind who I want to do first. Um, but whether or not they are on, I think they're on. I'm pretty sure they are. Um, if you can type in uh, in the message, if you write. Because I am writing coursework. So write the word coursework, just so I know you're all in. Or oh, so I know you guys are in, if that makes sense. Which you know. So just write in the word coursework if you want me to read your tarot. Just so I know you're in. I know it's a really weird thing to do. But a weird thing that you have to write in, but because my head's on coursework, and also it'll remind me to do my coursework. <laughs> You can't see it, but so on this side of the screen, so right on that side of the screen is you guys and the live. In the middle section, I have um, like all my coursework parts, and on the further side, I have my actual coursework, which is quite funny. <laughs> so I am actually going to do my coursework tonight, right. Now, um, I've done this, I did this maybe like a week ago, which is a bit more about longer than a week ago, it must be a bit longer than that. But um, I wanted to do like a little test to see whether or not um, this could work online, because I've always been very sceptical, um, but I was just intrigued to see whether or not it would. <laughs> right, so my first one of the evening, Hi guys! Sorry, I haven't really said hello today, have I? I've just kind of come on, had a little bit of a moan about children. They're so lovely. Last day tomorrow, when they go to school, I must be mad. They're trading in three children for 430. And, and I don't even get paid for it, so I must be really <laughs> a proper idiot. That's alright, I love it. Absolutely love it. But yeah, I'm not. I'm, I love it. I love my kids. Right. So, 
I am, because I've already got it in my mind, um, I'm going to do a reading for you, Andrew. Um, I had a, I don't know, yours was the first one that popped up, even though other people had messaged beforehand, and on the main, when I put it up earlier, yours was the only one that actually showed up or as a, um, as a notification, which was really cool. So I'm going to take that as a as a hint, because you know what I'm like. I take, take things to heart. You know. Right, so Andrew. Why not? I've never called you Andrew. Right, Andy. <laughs> um, yeah, if you can think of a question. Um, I just want you to keep thinking of a question for a little bit. Just for a wee while. That. Oh, Andy, I'm so gutted. I really want to come on the 26th. Like, I really want to, but I'm too cool. Like, super, super cool. I am going to the Woodchester. Um, in the same... Uh, what's it called? In the same, same week, I think, that you guys are going over. There, but I really, really want to join in, but I can't afford that. I'd be uh, all up for it, but not this close to after Christmas. We'll go on. Hence why I'm spending a lovely evening in Christmas Towers. Oh, you're not there, Andy. Well, that's a good thing, see? I know T's going to be there because she, she messaged me the other day. She's like, Carrie, you go. Thanks for the car, on people. <laughs> right, so I've got your cards. Okay, Andy. So what I'm going to do is. I don't know what it's going to be called. I think it's Fred at the moment. Right, think of your question. All right. When you've got your question, I want you to keep thinking it over and over and over and over. All right, don't deviate from the same question. Um, keep it the same. Thank you, honey, for my cup of tea. Um, so just keep thinking of that question over and over. Let's give it a go. Right, when you've got your question, sweetheart, um, just type in got it, just so I know you've got it, and then you need to keep thinking about it as I'm shuffling these in a second. Oh, was I spot on, Chloe? Amazing. I'm glad it was. I'm glad it's all right. I thought about you earlier. Oh, it came through the post. Yay! Yeah, it, it came through the post, so I was well excited. Thank you, my lovely, for that. Right. So, Andy, keep thinking of that question. I'm going to start shuffling. Seems very difficult for some reason. I have a feeling that one's going to be... Right, okay, this one fell out. I'm going to take this one as an omen. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, this one fell out, so I'm just going to pop this one on the side. I'm just going to do a free card one. Make sure you're thinking of your questions, sweetheart. Okay, so two more fell out. I know it sounds really bad. I always find these very strange, but I always take it to moment. Okay. Well, this one's interesting. The Ace of Cups. And the Wands. It's quite interesting because you've got Swords, Wands, and Cups. Don't normally get them all in one falling it's like normally if things fall out it's normally things that are in the same like so say if I dropped it would be like three of the same soup because I've not shuffled it or something but to have three of different ones then I, I take that as more of an omen right so I'm going to now cut the deck into three sections all right make sure you've got your question Andy Did you? That's interesting. So you had, which one was it? The, the ones, the ones card. There you go. That's, that's always interesting if you've got it from someone else as well. I always find that if they, they just suddenly pop out, which is really, really strange when they just pop out. Right, so I'm going to turn three cards over. First one. Is the Queen of Cups, but it's upside down. 
so it's the reverse. Okay. The moon. The moon. All right, it's your second card. I'm trying to get a feel of what your question is. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of cups. I should have known that. There's eight of cups there. So, so far, you've got two main cups and one more. Well, it's something about numbers here. Eight. You've got eight there. Right, so you've got eight here. Okay, so you've got eight and eight. So it's like about an eight. Maybe you ate something, maybe um what date is it today? It's the sixth. Maybe something to do with the eighth of January. This is more guesswork. Um the number eight is significant, but I don't think it's the number eight. I think it's um I think it's a play on words. You hate, possibly hate, something to do with hate. Um, yeah, I would say it's something to do with hate here. It's not eight, but I think it's it's a play on words. But I'll double check that in a second. But I think number eight is significant because it's twice it's come up. Right, so the fact that two things of number eight has come up so I'm guessing your questions about something that you're not I don't think hmm, something there's something about eight hey Joe hey darling um Andy there has to be there's something about eight now I don't know what your question is and I'm just trying to figure out so we've got Eight and eight. There, there has to be eight and eight. Too big. What, what's that in bingo? Two fat ladies, isn't it? Eight and eight. Eight and eight. Eight and eight. It's got. It's got something to do with eight. Right. I don't know why that eight is stuck in my mind. Why is that stuck in my mind? We've got eight and ace. Ace eight. Eight ace. Eight and ace. Eight. It's got. It's got to be something to do. Right. So, Andy, something is to do with eight. Okay. Um. Now, what I'm getting is, I believe this is a subject matter. Um. It's not. I don't think it's anything to do with job. I don't think it's anything about a question of sorts. I think it's um more of a guide me. I'm, I'm, what is what I'm thinking correct? Um, I could I could possibly be wrong there, but I believe your question it's it's um more of a hist historical no um hypothetical question more than just a this is this is my problem can you solve it I I think it's more of a well maybe if I think about this something like that. All right, I do believe number eight, either eight eight, or as you ate something, something to do with eight. All right, um, but I think your your question um is a hypothetical question. Um, I don't think it's anything to do with the death. I don't think it's to do with anything. Nothing to do with work. Nothing to do with the death. It's it's quite a tricky question. Um, so the Queen of Cups, usually a cup means that you're being filled, you're being fulfilled in some shape or form or something's coming through. Now I believe it's something that um, has given you joy, but because it's upside down, the cup is now empty. So to me, I want to say, I don't think it's a person, I don't think it's an animal, I think it's, a, it's something hypothetical, it's not a materialistic it's nothing material it's something that you've gone oh I wonder pluck it out and chuck it out there in the universe that's how I think that's how I think but it's, it's quite an, I can't think of how the question what the question is but I just know it's it's something that you thought of and it's hype yeah 
it's hypothetical. So, right. Um, so, I don't know what it is. Because you've got three cups, all right? I think the significant is something to do with something to do with the number eight and to do with cups. So, it's something that you will ultimately, you believe, will fulfill you. However, because the Queen of Cups is upside down in the first pile, which is normally your past, I'd say you may have had this thought before, um, but it didn't pan out right. However, when it shows this one, which is in your future, this is also about cups, and this is showing them upright, and there's eight of them, but because we got the eight of swords, um, this to me is your question, which is your hypothetical. It's like, mm, I'm going in this blind, but, um, but something is significant, all right? So it's something you'll jump that you've. It's a, it's a thought. It is a very good question, Andy. Like, definitely have you have really, and I can't figure out what it is, but I know I know it's not I know it's not material, but I do believe that it's. So the number the number eight. Why is the number eight? It can't be. It's not infinity. It's not in, infinite. Could be. Oh, I think I think it's something to do with an astral plane or some kind of. I, I don't know. I think it's like an infinite sound, or I think it's a wave of some kind. Some kind of. Oh, Andy, this is a tricky one because I. Is is on the, is there? It's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't quite think what it is. Um, but I think the number eight, and because this is in the future, the cups is going to be fulfilled. All right. Okay. So so it's something to be fulfilled. If you go for it, it's going to be fulfilled. It's going to be fine. All right. Something to do with eight. No idea what the eight is to do with. Now, because this one fell out as well, it's another cups. Now, because it's upright, you can see ideas are spewing. It, it is overflowing, and whatever it was that was hypothetical is actually, you should go, nope, that's not hypothetical. I thought it, therefore it's true. I know that sounds really silly, but that's what this is telling me, and it's like, run with that idea. Go go with it. Don't, don't stop. Just go with it. It, even if it sounds really crazy, go for it. But not something to do with eight. What is it to do with eight? This is going to annoy me. Um, this is also because obviously you've got the moon as well, and the moon is basically going after your dreams, um, following, just, just follow your heart. So, so whatever your question is, I think it's a hypothetical question. It's not um, nothing dire, nothing that's gone on, nothing. It's an idea that you've gone. Oh, what if I did such and such? And I don't think it's to do with technology. I don't think it's anything to do with technology. Okay, um, but I, I feel it's a hypothetical question, and something to do with it. I think is very universal. Um, with whatever it is, your hypothetical question is universal, and I think if you follow down that path, it's going to get you good results. Um, I think the number eight is significant. I don't quite know why. Um, and I, I don't actually know why, which is really, is actually annoying me because I know it's got something to do with eight because because of the two. Right. So we'll just quickly go through. So we've got eighteen. I think that's eighteen. So the X is ten. B is five and because the three is after, it's not thirteen, it's eighteen. So eighteen eight. Well, it eighteen eighth eight for the eighth, two thousand and eighteen. Eight for the eighth, two thousand and eighteen, eight for the eighth. Eight for the eighth. No, 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 no. When when was that? That's August. August is it no? Yeah, August is the eighth. Eighth of August. What happened eighth of August? I 
I'm going to say you had this, this thought in August last year on the 8th. And I have a feeling I was actually on a ghost hunt with you. The 8th of August, I'm sure I was in the Frogmore. I, I think maybe you've had this thought before and possibly I was there. And maybe you may have said it just on passing, like maybe just said it randomly. I don't know. Something to do with the 8th. Um, but I do believe whatever it is, and it's really annoying me because I know it's. Mm. Tricky bugger, isn't you? <laughs> <laughs> um, right, so something to do with the eight. Whatever this hypothetical question is, I'm going to say it's a wire. It's something to do with a wire. Is a wire? Is it a wire? Is it something to do with? <laughs> Andy, is it is something to do with a wire? A wire, maybe eight turns, eight turns of a wire. Um, so it's something to do with a wire. It's something to do with a twist of the wire. I think that's where the eight's coming from. It's, it's something to do with sound. No, no, it's not. It's, it's some well, sound it, yeah, it's something to vibrations. It, the sound is vibrations. It's that vibrations. That looks really cool from my side. I don't know if you can see that. Um, something to do with vibrations, something to do with the wire, something to do with eight. Maybe in the figure of eight. Something like that. It's got it's gotta be something, maybe I don't know. But I, I need to know your question because this is going to annoy me. So whatever the question is, it's hypothetical. It's an idea. And 100% you should run with it because I think it, it's not, it's going to, it's run with it. Quite simply go, do you know what? Why not? What have I got to lose? Just go for it. It's not. It's not going to make life any better. It's not going to make life any worse. Although it, for you personally, it's not going to make life any better or worse. However, I think it will inevitably help a lot of other people. Does that make sense? I think it might be one of those things that's not for you. Yes, what I think I think is a hypothetical question that's not to do with you. Um, it's to do with the thought, maybe not an invention of sorts, but something that you have got. And you feel like you could tweak. And uh, I think something to do with the wire, an eight. Maybe if you, yeah, that's what I think, Andy. That's what I think it is. But I think that it's going to definitely, yeah, because everything is looking forward. Everything is going for. But yeah. Yeah, definitely. I think it's definitely a hypothetical question. It is definitely something to do with somebody else. It's definitely something that will help somebody else. I don't think it's going to help you, and I don't think it's going to. It's no, no skin off your nose. It's it's no. It's it's like yeah. Does that make sense? It's not nothing that's going to affect you, but I think it will affect many on many different levels, and I think it will be a very fulfilling. And I, I think just being fulfilled I think it'll really help you um, yeah there's nothing there's nothing saying to go back there's nothing it's like yeah go for it yeah but yeah Andy definitely have to tell me about that question because it's gonna bug me now um, yeah you're more than welcome you don't have to put it on here um, but you can send me on messenger or the next time I see you so are you going to ashes on the 30th of March I'm going to that one, and then I think I'm going, right, Andy, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, five, six, 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 six,
six and eight, six and eight has its significant six and eight. All right. Yeah. Right. Sorry, Andy. It's going to be, it'll bug me out. <laughs> right. Oh, hello, my lovely. Right. So, if you want to read, and thank you, Andy. I'll switch your notes. It's gonna, it's gonna annoy me. Um, I do need to go and do some coursework, but I can do about another two readings before I disappear. Um, I'm going now. Right. Um, if you would like a reading, um, if you can type in that side or below, uh, type in coursework. Just the word coursework, just so I know that you're in. Because you could just have yes or no, but just put right into a coursework because it'll also remind me to do my coursework. Hence why I'm looking all rough. And just like, yeah. <laughs> okay. Right, if you write in the word coursework, then I know you're definitely here and it's not just a bot thing. I'm, I'm drawn to Matthew. Matthew Iwanoff? Is that, is that how you pronounce it? I will not. I won't. I will not. Is that how you pronounce your last name? I'm drawn to you. I don't know why. And I've got something in my head to do with fro. Something to do, something to do with fro. Fro, fro something. Okay, so. Right, so Matthew, I'm going to do one for you. I'm drawn to you. Don't know why. Right, so first of all, I think in your head, a question, any question, all right? Um, later on, you don't have to write it in the messages. You can send it to me on Messenger, um, or you, you don't have to. It's up to you. It's entirely up to you if you want to let me know your question after. It does bug me if I don't know what the actual question was in the end, in case I get it wrong. But, um, right, so, Matt, have think of that question in your head. Okay, when you've got that question, I need you to just write, got it. So if you've got it, just pop it in the box and just write, got it. Make sure you don't deviate from the way you've said it in your mind keep saying the same way over and over and over okay fantastic right so as you think about it now i want you to send me an image Let's think about throwing throwing something right throwing some throwing something do you play rugby do you play rugby Matthew, do you play rugby? Or it's a big ball. <laughs> not a not a small ball. Ball. Such a child. Right. Something to do with rugby. It's not rugby. Yeah. No. Yeah. Something to do with rugby. Maybe there's um a pub nearby or something to do with um a rugby ground or some something very, very nearby. Um, maybe you worked in one. Some something to do with throwing. Some it's not a javelin. It's because it's more it's more of a pointy ball. That's why I'm thinking of rugby. Because obviously a football is quite round and it's quite like lovely mm -hmm. But it feels like something that's pointy and a throw. But it's not a javelin because that's way too much. It's not a it's not a bow. It's not that action. It's a throw. Don't know why I'm getting. Why am I getting thrown? Right. So make sure you're thinking of your question, sweetheart. I never had like it's a real image of you just throwing something. Throwing. Don't know. It's weird. Right. Keep thinking of your question, sweetheart. Right. I'm just going to cut the cards. Okay. They are into three.
Right. So the first one, I've just turned the middle card up. Okay, so this is two of cups, which means it is like an exchange, throwing to and fro. That might be what I'm seeing. Is um something to and fro being thrown. Maybe maybe it's not abuse, but maybe it's to do with something of it's like that to and fro, to and fro. I think that's why I've got the image of fro in my head. Um I think this question is very much Yes, no, no, I don't know, no, it's not, it's not that sort of question, it's a, uh, I don't think, I don't think it's a partner, but I think it's someone slightly close to you, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't bet money on it, I'd say it's someone who's supposed to be close to you, is your question, I think it is, um, going to the past, Okay, so we've got Page of Swords. Yeah, this is all meant to me. There you go. So you've got the Page of Swords. Now this Page of Swords, as to me, it always seems like someone who is um, you look up to. Something happened. So it's for someone that was possibly close. Ooh, no, no, it can't be. But it's something about to and fro, to and fro, something to do with fro. And I would say in the past you idolised whatever this was, you idolised it. It was something that was you wanted and something that you felt very, very strongly about. Um, but as you got older, it's that sort of, you're kind of changing your mind about it. Let's just check your future. Right, I think I think it's an ex-girlfriend. And maybe you've had thoughts of oh no, I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that. I don't want to say that. Um I think it's someone you met very, very long time ago. And you thought it was all gravy, all good, all happy, and you, you always compare everything to that situation. Um as you grew up, there was that kind of, no, I could do better, I could do this, I could do that. And I think now you're to and froing from whatever this question is. Um, and whatever it is, you still hold on a pedestal, so to speak. And you feel like you can only glance at it. You don't feel like you could actually have it. Um, However, it is in your reach. Does this make sense? It is something that is in your reach, and you can pick it up. You could pick it up. You can't. Don't just look at it. Pick it up. Go for it. All right. That's how, that's how. So these are the cards we've got. So I think. So at the beginning, it's always like, oh, that would be amazing. That would be so cool. That would be amazing. And always something to look forward to. And then as you got older, you kind of to and fro in, to and fro in. And you've always been like, well, why, why not? Why, why can't I? And it's always been that devil advocate with yourself. It's never been with someone else saying, no, you can't do this. It's always been like, oh, do I, do I not? Do I, is it the right time? Is it not the right time? And whatever this question is, it's still, to this day, something that means a great deal to you. So I'm going to say it is something that you've admired for an awful long time. And it is in reach. And it, you can get it. All right? Um, I don't want to say it's a woman, because I don't think it's a woman, but I think it's something that you regard as a woman like maybe like you know when you call a car a girl or and do you, do you know what I mean by that I hope you understand what I mean by that um it's something that you would refer to as a girl um but yeah a hundred percent is in reach it's there you can get it take it off the pad the take it off the stool and go oh look pretty and actually hold it all right you can get it is in reach you can get it because this one this is telling me in the past you admired it for years and years and years 
and you're to and fro in about it and it's in your reach now so I don't think it's a job I think it's an item of some sort um, but something that you're going to refer to as a girl all right but I don't think I don't think it's a woman I don't think I don't think it's a girl but whatever it is it's in reach now so go and just, just grab it you've got nothing to lose all right I hope that makes a little sense but this, this is what I'm getting from these other people may interpret these completely different to me um, I'm always interested to see what people get from this sort of stuff so if you have any ideas please let me know um, but yeah personally Matt I'd say whatever it is you need to go and get it just get it like like that beer in the fridge just go and get it <laughs> all right um, um. Oh, really? No, you're not doing it. No, but you could. You could earn it. 100%. And I, I would say, yeah, that's what it is. I think it's that. Ah, so, so is it to do with um, see if you can get money from being a psychic medium? If that makes sense. And whether or not it would benefit you. In, in the long run but I do I believe it's attainable with some yeah whatever it is it, it's attainable I think it's some I don't know what it is but there's something you refer to as a woman but it's not a woman so maybe maybe it's um it's an item All right I hope that makes sense didn't know you were a medium. Oh, this makes us put me on edge now. <laughs> but yeah, um, hundred percent. I would say whatever it is, whatever the idea. It's not an idea. It's it's an item, and yeah, I think it is obtainable. And I think you should just go and get it. All right. I hope that makes sense to you, and I hope I haven't talked a load of tosh. <laughs> All right. So yeah, that's what I think. I believe it's something that you've had for a very, very long time. It's an idea or an item of some kind that you want to make or something like that. An item you have, maybe, um, and you're pummed and hard about it for an awful, awful long time. Whatever this is, whatever this question, like, whatever it was, is you've always toyed with the idea. And then it's available. It's definitely there. Now, with numbers, as I keep saying, I something about numbers always kind of gets me one two three four five six one 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 two three four five six seven eight nine ten two one ten to one ten to one ten to one it's definitely not ten to one now or one ten 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 to one ten Tending, tending to one, tending to somebody. Right, so you've got 10 to one. I got the 10 from the birds. Okay, so there's the 10 there. And it's just a page of swords. I've got the two at the top. And I've got the one of pentacles. Okay, it's 10 to one, which I don't think it's not, it's not a number. It's not, look at the time, it's 10 to one. It's not that, it's 10, 10 to somebody. Um, I believe you're going to be tending. You're going to look after someone. Um, or you're already looking after someone at the moment. All right, but it's going to be good. Because whatever it is that you thought of, that you think of getting your money, it's obtainable. So it's going to help you and that person you tend to. All right, hope that makes sense to you. I'd love to read them from you as well. That would be amazing. That would be really cool. And it would be great to pick your brain because I don't really, I know, I know lots of different psychic mediums and got a lot, lots of friends. Um, but it's, it's really, really interesting to find out how other people work. Because I'm not a medium or a psychic or anything. I, um, I just, just know stuff. I can't explain it. Um, but this strangely feels very familiar to myself um, 
yeah, I hope that cleared that some stuff up for you, my lovely. Um, but yeah, 100%, I'd love to pick your brain in the... Oh, do you? Well, I love going on those ones. I've got six booked. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to Winchester this month. In two weeks' time, I think. And Winchester again, hopefully, in February. Um, March, I'm going to Nottingham and Sheffield and I'm going somewhere else as well I can't remember but I've got quite a few booked for this year which I'm super excited about right um, thank you ever so much um, thank you ever so much thank you ever so much my lovely Matt I hope uh, that did you know, stuff with you but yeah let me know if, if ever you're like fancy just an extra body to come and join you on a ghost night just let me know 100% I, love, I absolutely love them. I could, I would do it all the time if I could. Um, but I have to train to be a teacher. <laughs> That's why I'm doing coursework tonight. <laughs> right. Um, thank you very much. Right. So I have enough for a very, very quick reading, and then I must get off to do some coursework because I will get in lots of trouble. I met you at the ghost town, Georgia. Georgia. Which one did I meet you at, my lovely? All right, my lovely. That's fine. Give my love to you. Oh, bless you. Oh, you have a good night, sweetheart, and have fun at work tomorrow because uh, you're what you've got in that day tomorrow, aren't you? <laughs> I don't because I got the thing is, I got the last day tomorrow. All right. <laughs> But enjoy it. Right, my lovely. Right, Lisa Rose. Um, oh, did I meet you in, oh, where is it? A beautiful house, Hatton Hall. Hatton Hall was beautiful. I love that place. I've been there, what, three, four times? Four times? I think I've been there now. Right. Hey, Terry. <laughs> right. Oh, I'm very torn at the moment. There's two people I want to do. Okay, no, no, no. I'm, I'm drawn. Dawn, how do I know you? How do I know you? You've got a son. Do I know your son, Dawn? Dawn Cummings, are you still on? Do I know? Do you have a son? I'm just going to do a quick reading for Dawn, and then I will do someone else straight after. Dawn, are you still there, my lovely? You don't have a son. Do you have a male? Right. Right. I've got. So I'm going to do someone younger. You've got five sons, right? Okay. Something. She said it now. I've read it. Damn it. <laughs> I try not to read the comments if I can help it. Right. You've got. I think I know one of your sons. Does he do radio or something? I'm sure. I'm sure I've met him. I think. I'm sure I've had. A, I've had a conversation with one of them. Um. Anyway, I, I don't know why, but I've put the cards in a very different way. Let me just kind of see if I can show you what I'm talking about. Right, so if I quickly take a photo then I can show you. I don't normally do it this way. Silly thing. Right, so I don't normally put them this way, but I felt compelled to do this way. Can you see how I've set them out on the table? Okay, so that to me means it's about one person 
but two different outcomes. Okay, Dawn, can you see that? Can you see how I've, can you see that on the, there you go. So I've set them out, okay, so it's one person but two outcomes depending on which group they take, okay. I don't know why this is something to do with the sun, okay, something to do with, with a male. So I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to turn over the one that's up straight. Five pentacles. I love this card. This card is basically, do you, don't you? Do you, don't you? Okay. So this this is the ultimate question. I don't know. Sorry. I know you haven't actually thought of a question, but I don't know why I'm compelled to do this. Um, this is a, is a question that one of your sons, I believe it's the other son, is thinking of. And it's back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay, now with this, if they go one way, <laughs> now, so the first one, you know I just told you about the back and forth, back and forth, okay, this is his question, I know, I know, I don't know if he has got a question, but there's a question, there's something he's doing and don't, he's like this, do I, don't I, do I, don't I. If he does, so the top one is if he does. If he does do it, it's all good. The power's in his hand. Okay? If he doesn't do it, and this is because he's on the bottom, don't know why. There's a, there's a question, okay? And it couldn't even, it could not have been more opposite. Okay, so here's the power, and here is you losing the power. So on this one is literally the question, I believe it's a son. I'd, I'd like to say, fifteen, maybe they're fifteen, fifteen, sixteen, maybe. So somewhere around that sort of age, oh, no. yeah, yeah, around fifteen. Maybe, maybe it's not. Maybe it's a. No, oh, I don't think you've got a son of the sun, have you? Something to do with fifteen, okay? And it's a very much a do they don't they do they don't they? Um, basically, if they do, if they do, it's good. All right. If they don't, look out. Okay, so I don't know who, I don't know which one it is. Why am I 15? 15, 15, 15, five of pentacles. So go five of pentacles and a 10. Maybe they're born on the, the January, very much April, May, May the 10th or October the 5th or something. We're not 51. Doing way too old, but whatever it is, is one way or the other. Um, they can't have it in both ways. They can't have both of whatever it is. So whatever it is, they can't have both. However, if they go, they go wholehearted into it, it's fine. If they don't go wholehearted into it, it will just end up in tragedy. All right. So whatever that was, I don't know what that's about. But I just feel there's a question that one of your sons has got something to do with five and a ten, ten and five, maybe fifteen, something to do with maybe that's a year, maybe they got married or something, I don't know, don't quite know. But it's basically it's a question, um, doomed if they don't, or reward if they do. Does that make sense? So if, if one of them's got a question they want to do or don't. Just tell them to go for it. All right. I hope that helps. Right. Um. Right, Georgia. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna do a quick one for you, my lovely. And then who was the other one? Georgia and Lisa. Lisa and Georgia. I'll do yours, and then I will have to disappear because I have to do my call for one. Right. So, I hope I hope that made sense, Dawn. I don't quite know why. You just you just summed me up. So I had to say something. Well, there you go. Right. Yes, Lisa, you can do. Right. 
So, Georgia, can you think of a question, my lovely? Keep it in your head. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't see you can't do this because it makes puts me on edge. I'm glad you tell me afterwards that you're a psychic medium because I'm not. I'm not psychic. I'm not a medium, but that's very cool. <laughs> I, I hope that helped. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, if you have any like anything you can teach me, hundred percent. Um, I find it very fascinating and very. Yeah, I'm very skeptical. Um, but I believe in something, but I'm not quite sure. Yeah, don't be on the edge, hundred percent. I kind of teeter there, and I'm like, <laughs> but it would be, it would be interesting. But yeah, I'd, I'd love to pick your brains, hundred percent. I'd like to pick Matthew's brain as well. So yeah, and if ever you are around doing something like ghost hunting or something just let me know oh, i'll be there i love ghost hunting I hate, I hate calling it ghost hunting it's paranormal investigating bugs me however i say paranormal investigating it's very very long-winded so saying ghost hunting is a lot <laughs> right but yeah dawn and matt get keep in contact i'd love to pick your brains at some point or vice versa it'll be amazing to find out right um georgia Hope you've got your question. I'm going to shuffle my cards as you are there, my lovely. All right, keep thinking your question. Oh, thank you, definitely. Right, Georgia, I feel it's something to do with a car. It's a beep beep. Something to do with a car. No, I don't think I don't think you buy a car. I think it's something to do with something to do with a car. We've met a person in the car. We've been in the car with a person. That's what I'm getting. How rude, Kelly. <laughs> I'm not implying anything. <laughs> I've got an idea of a car. Right. Um, right, so I'm going to go for past first. Oh, I've never had this one up. Right, okay. So it's one, two, three, four, five. And it's upside down. Five of swords. I'm going to have to research this one. Because I'm still quite new to these. All right, so this is the Five of Swords, okay, feels like some kind of tear. All right, this is the Infinity sign again. All right, eight and strength, so this is just a strength card. All right, so this is just something, something from something. Gives you enormous strength. And then the last one, the world. Okay. I think this is something to do with somebody that means the world to you. Excuse the boobies. Right, yeah, I'll cover up the boobies. Right. <laughs> Don't want to get reported Facebook for having boobies out. Right. So the world, I'm going to say this is about a person and it's someone who means a great deal to you. Um, I feel there's fun with a car. <laughs> there you go. Um, I don't know why a car, because there's nothing here that is telling me about a car, but I've got a car image of you in a car. Not that kind of image, but an image of you in a car with this person, this whoever this question's about. Um, this person, whoever it is, other boobs, right, whoever it is, is your world. Okay, this is your absolute world, and no matter what, it doesn't matter. Now, on this one, I'm going to take this as a tearing. Okay, I'm not going to research this actually. I'm going to see if someone wants to tell me the meaning at a late, like later on. Amazing, because 
I'm still quite new to all of this, but I'm going to go by my gut. And I'm going to say that there's nothing going to tear you apart. I know that sounds really cliche, all right? But there's there's strength when it comes to it. All right, I'm not showing sure, sure the boobies, am I? Right, so, <laughs> boobies. Um, so whatever this is, it's your world, which is, this is your future, this is your present, and this is your past, all right? But however, this is one thing, so this is just one question. And it's not even a question, it's, it's, I think it's just reaffirming what you already know. And whatever is happening at the moment, it's not gonna, it's not gonna, it's not gonna tear you, all right? It's not gonna, it's not going to stop you. It's not going to tear you apart. All right. It, whatever this this one is, with the world, whoever it is, is whatever's going on at the moment. This tear or this rip or something that's going on mm -hmm. is only going to make you stronger. All right. So so with that partner, with that person, is going to get stronger with whatever's going on. All right. So. If anyone does know the actual meaning of this card, that'd be amazing. Just let me know. All right. So whatever is pairing at the moment, okay. Ignore that. I'll just throw the card away. Ooh, I actually did throw the card away. <laughs> All right. Whether this flipped or whatever it is at the moment is, ignore it. It's just going to make you stronger. Okay. Um. Let's have a look at numbers. So we've got a five. So sorry, I was just, I was reading through these, I'm just seeing if I can get any ideas. Sorry, it was quite quite quiet then. Um, to me, I feel something was given, <coughs> and whatever it was is giving you strength. So this one again, all right, whatever whatever it is is giving you strength. From whatever's happened, tore you apart. However, and it was it was whoever it was, it was your world. But it is gonna be like it's nothing's gonna stop you. Nothing's gonna tear you apart. And I believe it's not to do with anybody who's lost. I think it's to do with another family member who through tear you will get stronger. Does that make sense? Alright, so I would not what you you're right is good. Okay, um, but yeah, I would say it's something to do a couple of weeks ago. You mustn't be sad, all right? Because whatever it was, re really teared, but you're good, all right? Because it's going to bring something more, something else has come from it, all right? So yeah, I'm going to stop that one because that actually makes me feel a little bit sad. Hence why I was a bit quiet just a minute ago. Um, right, yeah, but yeah, um, whatever it is, whatever the tear or the rip was, it's going to be fine because it brought you closer to that person who means the most to you. All right, I hope that makes sense. Right, my lovely Georgia, if you are more than welcome to write down the, your question down um on the messages or you can send it to me through messenger it's entirely up to you or you can just keep it to yourself it is entirely up to you all right i hope whatever it was like you don't worry it's okay all right it's not your fault no one's upset well they are but they're not they're not not upset with you does that make sense i'd say that someone's proud Makes me feel a little bit tearful. Hopefully, I haven't made you cry. <laughs> All right, right. You're welcome, my lovely. I hope I gave made sense. Right, Lisa. I'm gonna jump on because I do have to go and do my coursework. Else, I'll be all behind and I'll cry.
although I could, I could sit here all night and do this. Right, I hope that helped, Georgia. All right, my lovely. I'm sure I'll see you at GPS soon. Lovely, lovely guys. Hey, Chloe. Right, so Lisa. Right. I almost lost loads of cards, and don't you can see that. I keep seeing something in the corner of my eye, and I think the glare of my glasses. Ah, uh, I got my husband to watch uh, Demon House last night. I've watched it already quite a few times. I watched the lost footage the other day. That's freaky. If anyone's not, so, if you've not seen it, go and check it out. The Demon House is amazing. Anyway, I like the way that it's more of a documentary. Then I don't, I don't like all these Hollywood. Although one of my favorite films is Poor Guys. But shh, um, <laughs> the old one, not the new one. The old one is awesome. Got the weird treatment. Great. <laughs> it's one of my favourites. Yes, George, I'll definitely see you soon, sweetheart. Right. Chloe, your ticket arrived yesterday. I said it earlier on. Did you not hear me? Hey. When we really did the competition. Oh, amazing. I thought that was well cool. And then I, I, I got to see it, like, when it was all kind of, like, I was very excited. Um, it was hard to get. <laughs> hard to see, but I managed to kind of. Oh, brilliant. Mm. We arrived yesterday morning. The kids come out like, Mommy, you got pants. So I was like, amazing. And I saw, I recognised your writing. I don't know how I recognised your writing, but I was like, Okay. Yeah, it arrived. It's amazing. I can't wait. I'm super excited about that one. It'd be nice to see you all as well. Right, um, Lisa, think of your question, my lovely. Keep thinking of the question. Right, I'm going to say something to do with cowboys. Don't know why. I've got line dancing in my head. Maybe a check shirt of some kind. I'd say it's red. Maybe it's a it's a fleecy jacket, sort of checkered cowboy. The vibe I'm getting. <laughs> Right, Lisa, are you still there, my lovely? Can you just um, tell me that you've got your question? We will even come She's still there. Aha. Right, Lisa, have you got your question in your mind? I feel whatever your question is, it's something to do with checkers, um, possibly line dancing or something of, of that nature. Right, keep thinking your question. I'm going to go for the middle card first so if anyone's just tuned in um basically i do a free card so basically i do three piles and then i just turn the cards over and go with what i feel right so the first one okay is the four of swords and it's upside down so it's not a new beginning it's is an ending of some kind. All right, upside down. We go to your. It's not future. It's page of swords. We have this one earlier on. It's a very noble one when it's up. When it's up the right way, it's always very very noble. There's always look forward, something to look forward to. And this one is the moon. The moon. We have the moon. <laughs> Then you remember the mighty boosh, the mighty boosh. 
with the moon. I am the moon. <laughs> right. So the moon is something that you were looking forward to. It's, it's something um, you aim towards. Um, now, what's for me? What's really sticking out on this one is what is that? Is a lobster? I think is that a lobster or a hermit crab? It can't be a hermit crab. It's got a shell. Well, it's got a shell. Did you know? That crabs, in order to make their shells, have to puke and spit on themselves, and that's how they make the shells. Something completely random, but I found this out a few weeks ago. You know, all this teacher training, and you find out all sorts. Anyway, <laughs> knowledge, yeah, right. Um, so here is a scorpion. It could, it's coming from the water, so I'm going to guess it's something. I would say. What are they? Babes? Can you tell me what this animal is? So it's coming from the water, so I think it's a, a lobster. It's not a scorpion, it's not. It's a lobster. It's a lobster. It's a lobster. Okay, thanks. Can you show everybody else what a lobster looks like? It's, it's a lobster. lobster. Right, it's coming from the water. Oh, no, it could be a shrimp. <laughs> right, so a lobster. So this to me is, is a person, all right? So as me personally, I'm a big Friends fan. So when it comes to the lobster, so how, how it suddenly picks up on me is the lobster is love. It's something to do with love life here. Um, it's underneath the moon. When the moon hits you, I like a big piece of I love the moon. So... I think it's something to do with love here, and as you can see, there's two dogs here, so it's entwinement of hearts, okay? Um, so, he's her lobster, that's how I feel, that's how I feel that your question, I think it's something to do with um, something that's ended, um, which is, in this card, how it's upside down. Um, if, it's up, if it's this way, it means it's like a new beginning, there's a new new horizon or something that's on its way however this is more finalized to me um but as it's gone here you've got there you go, the page of swords and that to me is something looking forward but i believe if something did end it was a noble way of doing it it wasn't a dickish move it wasn't a um it wasn't just for, it wasn't jealous, it wasn't, um, I think it was just literally just parted ways in, in a way. And it was a very dignified and very noble way. You got you both, you know, both knew something and went, do you know what, nah, it's just not working. I believe maybe one else was involved, um, not cheating or anything like that. I think it was maybe not a child. I don't want to say a child, maybe a dog or something. Um, no, I don't know. Do I want to say child? I don't know. It was someone you, you cared deeply for. Um, you cared, you cared very, very deeply for this person, and it's always going to be there. It's always going to leave the scars. You're always going to prepare everything to whatever sits. Um, now, for some reason, I've moved my cards around. Um, don't know if you can see that. Oh, let me see if I can. Take a picture. Do, do, do. Now I've, I've moved it around for some reason. Okay. So if you can, can you see that? So I've moved them around. All right. So I've moved them around on the table. So for some reason, I don't know why I've done that. Um, I'm gonna say from that past, from that relationship. Because I don't know why I've moved it around, this is very unusual. Um, so obviously now it's in a different position. Ooh. Maybe zoom in. So now it's in a different position. All right. So that's how it is in front of me. I can't move the computer screen down. All right. But now I'm going to say that from that relationship, there's only good. There's only a new horizon. There's only. It was a good thing. Like now it's ended. It's only good. All right. I hope that makes sense. 
Um, so I would say with that, yeah, for, from that ending, there's only, you're going to grow and it's very noble and it's very dignified. Does that make sense? Um, yeah, if you want to tell me your question, you can tell me your question. Um, you can either put it on here, on either below or to the side, whichever way you're looking at me. If you're on the main screen, then you can see me on that side. Or if you're on the phone, it's down here. Um, you're more than welcome, or you can send me in a messenger. All right. I hope it's answered some questions. Um, but yeah, I would say it's something to do with entanglement of somebody, and it's someone who, something here, it's a very much, oh, it's got me, um, and it was, it was shit, but it's alright, because you did a noble thing, alright, okay, so whatever it is, you did a noble thing, you did the right thing, that's how I feel, and it was a good, you knew when to call it quits, alright, um, right, I have time for one more, um, if you would like your tarot read, um, then type in coursework. Say, Kelly, get to your coursework <laughs> if you'd like your tarot read. Ooh. This will be the last one of the evening. So if you are there and you, I haven't read your tarot. Right, if you're still there. Just type in the word coursework when I know you're not a bot. I don't know if any of you have ever come across a bot when it comes to messengers. I've had a few where you just spams you with like like yes, no, maybe, or like just normal questions. It just spams you with it. It's really weird. Right. All right, my lovely, this is the last one of the evening. Right, Mandy. Hi, sweetheart. Right, I want you to think of a question and keep thinking that question over and over and over, okay? Keep thinking of that question over. Once you've got that question, try not to change the question in your mind. Try and keep it the same way you're, you're saying it, okay? Right. Once you've got that question, my lovely, and you've got it in the way you want to say it, um, make sure you are saying it over. Can you just say, got it, so I know you've got it. You've got the question in your mind, so whilst I'm shuffling. <laughs> Right, my lovely. Right, keep that thought in your head. I'm going to cut the cards in a second. Keep thinking it over and over and over. If you have an image in your head, put the image in your head of that same thing. There's a card turned up the wrong way round. Right, so all of these cards are all the same way up, apart from those two, like those that I've just shoved on top. But they're all the same way around, but these two randomly turned up right. So I'm going to take those aside, I'm going to put them onto one side. Right, I'm going to cut your cards now, my lovely. Keep thinking of that question. Right, I'm going to turn them over. Right, first of all, you have the magician, which is upside down. So, yeah, I'm going to say magic's gone on this one. Right, so you have the five of wands. Okay. And the ace of cups. Cups always means fulfillment or overflowing, um, love, enjoyment, happiness. So this is 
future, usually known as future card, but I think this is. So at the beginning, we have here, we have a magician, okay, which a cup which is upside down, which means it's empty. The magic is gone, maybe the spark is gone. All right, in this, whatever it is, okay, so what you thought was forever may not be forever, okay. So as the cup is upside down, the cup is empty, all right. The magician normally is, is that um, mythical in um, the way it makes you feel, it feels like magic in, in a way, um, if that makes sense. There's lots of little bits and pieces like that. So with this one, I believe whatever your question is, I believe whatever, it, you already know the answer to this one. But I believe the magic is gone in a way, but I think it's on your side to do with you, um, with it's, it's a it's a sign that's been there for a while. All right. Um this one is telling me time and time and time again, we're rebuilding, re, re not repopulating, but re you keep trying and trying and trying and it just seems to get into wars, into into fights and it's no matter what you do, you try and build a home or build something around it, it just it just keeps tumbling down. No one's listening to each other, no one's um it's just going round and round in circles and it, it just needs to stop in a way. I hope this is making sense. Um yeah, so, so it feels like you keep like you keep trying and trying and trying and rebuilding and trying to do it over and over and over, but it seems like a lot of the magic that was originally there, or the the idis, idyllic lit, like idea was that was originally there, I don't think's there for you anymore. Um, yeah, that, that's how I'm feeling. I feel it's quite it's not a bad one. It's not bad, it's not bad at all. But however, this one is now overfilling with pride and joy. And I think with this one, I feel you need to let whatever it was run its course and stop. Okay? And I think it's going to bring you this, it's going to bring you happiness. And I think you just need to just take that big plunge. All right, plunge into that water. Just dive on in and go, oh, well, well, no mind. All right, because it's only going to make you sore, as in sore for this guy, not sore, as in ow, as in sore for this guy. It's going to help you. It's going to bring you that nourishment. It's going to bring you that help. It's going to make you feel happier. Um, as these two were the other way around, as I was turning the cards over, all right, so we have the swords. The ace, this one, ace of swords with chariot, which to me means brave. Okay, it's it's not all black and white as it shows in the screens the other way round. All right, so um, so it's a mirrored image on the screen. Um, so it's not just black and white. There is every other every other view. To look around, it's not just two people. It's a lot, not just two things. It's a lot of things that need to be addressed and sorted out first. Um, so it can't just happen overnight. Can't just stop straight away. Um, but this one here is like, be ready to put up a fight. Be ready to kind of know when to stop the fight as well. I hope that makes sense. And you're just going to be triumphant at the end of it. I think it's all. Yeah, I think personally. That, that's me personally. This is what I personally think. Um, I believe the magic from whatever it was, whatever the initial thing was, um, I believe is gone. Um, but I believe it's your side from from you, you personally. Um, and no matter how much you rebuild it, it's going to keep crumbling down. It's going to keep falling or whatever it is. Um, but I do believe if 
you just take a step back and go, do you know what? Nah, Let, let's stop. Whatever it is, okay? Um, it's just gonna fulfill you from going. Nope, that's it. End of. Um, and it's just gonna make you triumphant. It's just going to make you brave and strong. And but you do need to consider others through this decision. All right. I hope that makes sense. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to say. Um, numbers. You haven't really got numbers. As you, so seven six one five seven six seven six five. So I'm going to say the six and seven will be affected the most. And the 15, the 15 and the 6 and the 7 will be affected the most out of this. All right, I hope that makes sense. Yeah, 6, the 6 and 7 and the 15 are going to be affected the most out of everything and for your decision. Hope that makes sense. Um, that's what I'm personally getting. Um, I could be completely wrong. This is this is my personal feeling. Okay. Um, but yeah, I think your thought pattern is right, and I think you should just go for it on that one. All right. Huh. Oh, excuse me. Right, I mean, the question was moving home. Shit. Yeah, I would say that's where this one comes from. From that last part. All right, that's where this one comes from, 100%. Um, and no matter building, and I think you come up the other end. And yeah, I think 100% just go for it. All right. I, think, I know you'll be all right, sweetheart. We'll be okay. Right, my lovelies, um, I do need to go and do my course. Very naughty, I get very distracted. A shiny computer in front of me. Um, in all fairness, my kids aren't asleep yet, so I can't act well. They have just gone to sleep, hopefully. So uh, I can actually get on and do, just get on with my course right now. Um, thank you ever so much um, for, her, for everyone joining me this evening. Thank you much. Um, I'll do this again another day. I quite, I quite enjoy it. It's, it's very relaxing, actually. Um, if you want to read about my website, uh, it's www.mamapets.com. And if you go to my Paranormal page, um, on there is a lot of... Um, obviously, I go, I go on lots of little ghost, ghost hunts. I absolutely love it. Um, I could do it every day if I could. If I, if I got paid, I would do it in a job, 100%. Um, Oh, okay. Um, I had 11, 12, 9, 6 earlier on. Sorry, someone just asked the question. 11, 11 12, 9, 6. Like that number come up earlier on. Um, I don't see it's fine. Don't, don't quote me on that, but it, was a, it wasn't a bad thing. That was to do with someone else earlier. Um, I think that was to do with... Someone popped on and I just got the image of their son asking a question. Maybe, maybe it's joined, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, thank you, Mandy, for your question. I hope it did clarify a lot of things. Um, yeah, if you want to go to www.mompest.com, and on there is a Paranormal Normal page. Um, there's also one that I do for um, the Academy of Arts, which is a, a, a group of kids that I teach. Um, at the local community centre, which is all to do with like art and music and drama and anything arty farty, creative of any kind. I teach them basically, I have lots of fun. Um, it's just a, a group that I kind of teach, don't make any money from it, I just enjoy doing it. Um, obviously, I'm, it, it's great for me because I get to learn about different ways of teaching and how 
I can teach and what works, what doesn't work, but I just love doing it anyway. Um, but yeah, on the Paranormal page, um, there's a lot of write ups about some of the ghost hunts I've been on. Um, there's a few that I'm in the middle of writing. Um, so I will be writing quite a few because I've got quite a few that I've got to write up. Um, what, the Ancient Ramen for my second visit, which is amazing. Really, I feel so connected to that place. And it's only around the corner, it's like literally, I could go out here and within 15 minutes I'm at the Ancient Ramen. Pretty cool. You right, Annie Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, go and have a look on there. Um, go pay my friend some. Say hello. So amazing. And we've Right. Um, I'll do another one. Another couple of readings in a few days. I. Right. Thank you for uh, watching and check out my website and check out some of the stories on there of what I've encountered. Um, there's some. Uh, there's a story that I've, well, I say story, it's not a story, it's uh, true events that happened from whilst I was younger and I was ordered upwards. But it's not quite finished, but feel free. There's, the grammar's really bad, sorry. I haven't quite got that far. Um, that's about it, really. Thank you very much for joining me and having the bees in. And I'm now going to do my coursework because my kids are asleep. Yes. Bye. Toodles. Bye, guys. Yeah, lovely. I don't follow on the stream. I do.